Hey everyone, Paco LeBron here. I am the co-host of MSP Unplugged, along with one of the co-founders of TechCon Unplugged, our in-person event happening this September 17th to the 19th in Chicago. It's gonna be at the Aloft Hotel, Chicago O'Hare. With me, I have none other than Cyber Matt Lee. Matt, how are you? Man, I'm doing great. It's uh, awesome to be in my house for three days after the last eight weeks of travel and uh, very, very excited to get some content built for, for TechCon Unplugged and, and ready to disseminate to your people. So no, thanks for I having me. No, I, I appreciate you uh, taking the time today and, and, and gracing us over at TechCon as well. Um, you know, as everyone has probably, you know, heard a little bit, there's been a big hype on a Microsoft 365 bootcamp that we're going to be having on the September 17th, which is the Friday. Um, it's technically a pre-function event. It is not a part of the conference, so it's a limited event. It's uh, only for the first 50 ticket purchasers of the, uh, of the tickets for TechCon Unplugged. So if you have not purchased your ticket yet, this is going to be a reason why you want to go ahead and get your ticket as soon as possible. Um, and again, I want to go ahead and for those that don't know Matt, um, you know, he has been uh, very active in the channel for many years. Uh, I consider him a good friend of mine. And for those that may not know Matt, Matt, why don't you go ahead and tell a little bit about yourself and kind of uh, how uh, you got into the Microsoft realm? Yeah, so I actually was with an MSP uh, before when we were seven break fix employees, right, working on machines all the way through to, you know, we want to be an MSP to growing to 170 employees and managing 20,000 endpoints. And uh, how I got into Microsoft was it, it just landed on me that what I was really seeing with Microsoft was a normalizing set of variables, right? Things would be simpler if I had less differences between all customers, as I had less differences in the way that structure is done. And so we bound Azure Active Directory and started using you know, Intune at the time as a separate license, as an E3 add-on before the M365 world. And you know, we had all our machines bound and no Active Directory. And, and we've been living that life through very less capability to significantly and significantly more capability that continues to reinforce uh, that we are driving the right direction. In addition, while I'm in my role at Iconic IT as the Director of Technology and Security, uh, I drove a lot of the advisory with Microsoft around Lighthouse, around the extensibility of things that are coming, around uh, Windows 365. We were on that beta as well before uh, and helped drive things forward so that not only can I see the results, but I could also start driving some of those results into ways that we as MSPs can leverage this and reduce our supply chain attack side, actually become much more hardened from a security and defensibility perspective, um, and actually start to focus more on delivering service to our clients and less on protecting our house in a way that's much more defensible. I don't know if that's too much, Paco, but that's essentially what got me started in the Microsoft space and how I advise them uh, to this minute still on a lot of those programs. So. No, I mean, I think this, you know, you hit quite a bit of how really a lot of MSPs, IT business owners that are trying to go into not only the Microsoft 365 realm or uh, environment um, is really understanding the security uh, piece of it as well, right? I think that because since it's such a big major platform and player um, and all the intricacies that you can configure on it, it's more important than ever to really understand what you're getting yourself into because I think yeah. we get into this spot where you know, there are some of us that will just turn something on and all right, I'm done. And and not yeah, really having that set up. <laughs> and not having that forethought and really understanding, you know, what it takes to really focus in protecting your uh your customers. So I think it really speaks to just in general what we have to look into Microsoft. And Microsoft is not just Word. You know, it's right. Microsoft 365 is really a lot of intricacies and really what can be leveraged. I mean, this is a, a conversation we've had many months ago where really Microsoft, especially Microsoft 365, is leveraging a place where there's a lot of scalability you can use with these platforms that, you know, it, it, you're going to get further than what we could have done five, even seven years ago. Oh, so. yeah. And, and, and then COVID, obviously, the pandemic has driven that even further forward. And I know you wanted me to cover kind of what do I plan on covering in this class, right? So yes. I'll kind of give the overview of what we're looking at. 
Um, I really want to do a, a, a couple of hours of walkthrough of the components, right? You can't play a, a game of checkers or a board game uh, or football or any other game without knowing the pieces, the players, and what they do and how that plays. And so we'll do a little bit of that background to make sure we're all on the same page, uh, and, 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 and at least the way I see it. Um, and, and I've been in the trenches doing the IM work and doing Microsoft M365 management and using its extensibility and setup and all those things. Um, but then... After that, it'll be us kind of doing some workshopping, going through and looking at where the individuals that are in this class are, uh, and in a group setting, kind of talking through and demoing through some of those things in a controlled way so that we don't turn it on for all your tenants, but we turn on some components of that in your actual live tenant with a you know selected group of individuals and license. But then in, in addition, uh, you know, potentially some time for some one-on-ones to actually talk through it in, in more detail so that you can walk away with a really good idea of where you can go to harden your house first, which is my advocation to use it yourself so that as your clients start to ask about it, as the advertising dollars and, and the wave of tide that Microsoft is, is driving into these products, start to have your questions being asked to you from your clients, you have at least a good understanding of, oh yeah, we're living that way. Let me, let me show you. <laughs> and we'll be glad to take you there. I've just got to get all my engineers up to speed, right? So mm -hmm. I hope to at least get you a plan of, of where to go forward there uh, in that class uh, is my intention. So. Yep. And exactly as Matt mentioned, you know, really the goal here is not to just speak theory. You know, we're really trying to give you a lot of value and meet on top of what exactly are we covering on those components. But again, we're trying to bring this full workshop that a lot of our attendees and listeners have asked us for from our previous convention or conference. So, you know, we are going to ask for some prerequisites coming into this. You know, we, we as much as we're trying to give you, we're going to need a little bit of uh, engagement back from you. Um, we're going to have some requirements like you're going to have to have a, a premium license to test with because that's really where it all starts with. And that's the Microsoft Business Premium. And we'll kind of add some of these details on the website as those are getting updated and the newsletters as we're highlighting this. And also, we want to make sure you have a device that is available to deploy on because, again, it's all great to hear what you're doing and 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 the, and the actual content, but it's not until you actually do it and work on it and actually apply yourself to it. It's really when you understand and learn, um, and really just understanding that you know this is really the piece of how to do this on a day to day basis and understanding how to work on the environment. This is not just hey, this is the theory. This is what it looks like. Here's a flashy uh, board that we have here. We really want to make sure that there's value for you. Um, as we go through this. So it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a great workshop. Um, is there anything else, Matt, that we want to kind of tease off before we kind of just let it off from there? You know, I think some of the other stuff I'd like to share uh, potentially would be, you know, for what people it's worth to people, I suppose, uh, not an expert. I've just done this for a little while. Um, but where the vision is of where Microsoft's heading, what that could mean to us as an MSP community, what that could mean to us as a change in how we deliver the services we deliver uh, using these new tools and what this experience means to uh, some of our clients as time goes on. So I kind of want to just share what my vision uh, is around those things and, and help educate what I know of as Microsoft's releasing things like Microsoft Windows 365 and some of the data about that, uh, right, and where that might take us as an industry. So those would be the things I, I plan on covering as well. And, and uh, it It'll form up as, as the next uh, few weeks go as to how we exactly deliver all of those. But yeah, that, that'd that be the others I'd want to talk about is some future facing things. So. Very cool. So yeah, so there you have it, folks. That's really what we're going to be. You know, I wanted to give a little bit more of a discussion, have Matt uh, kind of show uh, at front in front of all of our uh, listeners and attendees here. Uh, and again, we really appreciate those that have purchased your tickets already. As we mentioned before, the first 50 ticket purchasers are, are will be allotted into the Microsoft 365 Bootcamp. Again, this is not part of the event itself. This is a pre-function event, so it is limited seating. So do go ahead and purchase your ticket when you have the chance. Um, and you can head over again to techconunplugged.com. We'll make sure we have it in the notes here for this posting. But again, Matt, Really appreciate you taking the time. I know you're you're all over the place now, and you're probably heading out to travel sometime this week as well. So tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, <laughs> there you go. So really appreciate it. But thank you everyone for watching the video. Again, feel free to comment for any questions that you may have, and we'll be uh, posting a lot of more of these videos as we're catching up with a lot of the speakers, the vendors that are going to be. And again, September seventeenth to the nineteenth, and that'll be this year in Chicago, Illinois, at the Chicago Aloft O'Hare. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me.